this week we've had a lot of great engagement from the community around different ways that they've approached solving this fill down problem. So if we just take a look at the input data, then we see that our brains as humans logically interpret that Jenny is the store manager of these first three rows, Tom is the store manager of these next four rows, and Jonathan is the store manager of the last two rows. So how do we translate that into Tableau Prep? Now we've seen solutions from different technologies um, and all sorts, but mainly we're focusing on how to solve this in prep. So we've also seen loads of solutions actually of different ways people have approached this problem, which has been really interesting. So but this is just one way and Carl will have a different solution method written up. So check that out too. So the way that I've chosen to do this is if we look at the recommendation that Tableau Prep gives us, it tells us to remove the whole field. Hmm, that's not very useful. I'm going to take away the nulls so that we only have our store managers left. So we don't need the store or the sales target going forwards because we're going to join this back onto the data set. We just need the row ID and the store manager. So let's just join that back to our sales targets. And sort of the join it suggests is to just do an equals join on the row ID. And that's nearly what we want. But actually what we want is we want every row ID from our original data set to be greater than or equal to the row IDs of those that have the store managers. So we can see that we get this kind of like nice staircase going on. So what does that mean? What does that look like? Well, we've done. So for row IDs one to three, then they're always just going to join on to that first uh, store manager. So the Jenny store manager. Um, but then once we get to row four, where Tom comes in as the store manager, then we kind of get two rows because four is greater than both one and four um, of those row IDs. So we're going to need to get rid of basically the Jenny row there. And then once we get down to Jonathan's stores, he has like Tom and Jenny also in there. So we need to find a way to get rid of those two rows. But otherwise, we're making some good progress with this challenge. We're getting towards what we want it to look like. So how we're going to go about um, doing this is we're going to use a fixed LOD. So we're going to use the row ID from um, that clean one step. So the all the rows that have their store manager already in them. So we're going to create a fixed LOD here. And we're going to group it by, though, this row ID, our kind of, you know, one to nine row ID. So let's just group it by that. And rather than taking the minimum, because that will just give us Jenny for everything, we want to take the maximum because, say, when you get down to Jonathan, you want um, it to take, rather than Jenny or Tom, you want to take Jonathan, which is the maximum row ID. So that works. And then we just want to use that fixed LED to filter. So our fixed LED should be equal to the row ID minus one. And that will return us one row for each of our row IDs. Awesome. Now we actually have our values all filled down. So I'm just going to add a clean step and only keep the rows that we want. So we want this one. We want this store manager rather than one with the nulls in. We want this store and this sales target. Oops, I removed them rather than <laughs> rather than uh, keep only. So let's let's do that again. Um, so that's the beauty of doing these things. Building these things along with you, you see my mistakes too. But easy to just control Z and undo things. So I'll just take away that dash one from our store manager. And ta da, that is the output that we are looking for. So I hope that was useful to you. All and Thank you for all your different solutions. Please check them all out on Twitter and maybe you have a different one, but hopefully you like this one too. So thanks for watching.